honey bunnies how you doing welcome to my channel be good at being you let's go thrifting It's Cynthia. How you doing? I hope everybody is doing great because you know I am. Welcome to my channel. Listen, my theme for this winter is I'm doing a lot of thrifting. Well, not a lot of thrifting. I'm doing a lot of sweaters, a lot of cardigans, as a matter of fact. Those are that's my garment of choice for this winter. Because what I'm doing is my in my mind, I'm replacing cardigans. Uh, with jackets that's what I'm doing because I I need to be warm I need to be warm all day long from morning to when I get off of work I love my job but look it's cold in there so I have to be warm and so what I decided is I'm going to look for you know those kind of unique kind of sweaters you know so that's what I've been doing and then I throw in, you know, some little miscellaneous stuff like that there, you know. But this is not a really big haul. It's a small haul. And I thought I'd bring it to you, um, bring it to you as soon as possible. Okay? So, you know, to stay up on my videos, right? Right. And uh, happy Halloween. If I don't see you tomorrow, I will be out with the children, the grandchildren, yes. My husband and I will be taking our girls, all of them trick-or-treating we absolutely love doing that we do it every year um, and we hate it when our when our when their mother and fathers like to come with us they get in the way we don't like that and then you know they don't get a lot of candy when they come but with grandma or aka Nana <laughs> and granddad we hit all the houses so we're gonna have a good time and the weather's going to be absolutely fabulous tomorrow in the high 60s almost 70s so it's just like you know god made a special day a warm special day for these kids to get out and put on their costumes so we're going to hit all the good neighborhoods like we always do until they tell us that they're ready to go all right um let me get started first of all i love this sweater it is nothing but just a regular like polo not sweater i'm sorry it's just a polo shirt and it's uh, evergreen white and tan and I am going to pair this up with that st. John's green sweater that I had before I did I uh, wore it in a outfit of the day uh, I will post that video below so that you can see how I paired it up last year uh, with a different kind of sweat with a sweater versus uh, a polo shirt so you get to see that um, just a regular tan cardigan it um, has some buttons here um, it was on sale um, sometimes when you know you have something that's got a lot of color in it or a lot of detail to it and you still want to be warm something simple as this kind of cardigan would work with uh, uh, an outfit or a dress or a skirt and the color is neutral so that helps out a lot and it's almost a, a no-brainer then I have excuse me I don't have a lot of hangers this time maybe one or two and then I found this brand new sweater as you can see um, it is tan with black flowers on it and in the front it is trimmed in a black um, with a black trim um, the buttons are very they're snapped snap-on buttons okay and this is brand new brand new it's Jones Wear Studio and I got it for half price so I really like that that's really really pretty so I am really going to enjoy wearing this and then I found this with the this sweater with the fur loving it it has uh, some floral detail 
um, so, uh, embroidered into it. I don't want to say embroidered, but like a flower detail on it. If you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Sure you can. So yeah, I really like that. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. And I can't wait to wear it. Um, the collar is detachable so that you so that I can be able to wear it uh, by itself uh, or with the fur collar and when I go to wash it or you know service it put it that way I can take the collar off so it doesn't get damaged isn't that cute look at that mm. I said uh, 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 uh. yes too cute and I love it with that color pretty nice so next how y'all doing I hope you guys are doing great I'm feeling pretty good today remember the last time I said I was not feeling pretty today I am though <laughs> a black and white I mean black and gray stripe sweater stripes are in they are in and in. Now, normally, I don't do a lot of horizontal. I try, you know, I don't do a lot of horizontal. I think I have three shirts, the one from a sweater from last year. You know what? I used to didn't do a lot of ho uh, horizontal because, you know, things went that way. But now, you know, it's open game now, so horizontal it is you know and stripes are in horizontal or vertical and I'm not gonna be left out of the fashion trend if stripes are in then I'm getting me some stripes and so I did with this sweater very very nice the round neck you know this is everything I was against a long time ago round necks stripes well endowed in the front just add it on pound but if I combat that look with a sweater on top or maybe a vest to minimize all this that's going on up in here mm -hmm, that will work and so that's my mindset and that's how I'm thinking when I bought this sweater this is too cute and I say that because of the color it is pink and black leopard and it is a cardigan sweater and I loved it I matched it up with a, a black skirt that I have um, I did a outfit of the day in this black skirt a while back but I matched it up with this and this is going to look so so cute <gasps> but this one girl, girl this is hot this is hot I tried this on in the store and all I can think of is that how you say Bollywood that's all I can think of you know I don't know why I would think of Bollywood but that's what I would think of when I wore put this on I was like oh this is a plunging round neck sweater now I can wear it with a tank top by itself or just with a regular shirt but it is absolutely gorgeous <laughs> I love that and I'm gonna call this my Bollywood sweater and the color of course works wonders with my skin color I can't wait to wear this I absolutely love love this sweater I said you know it was sitting there just waiting for me look at the details on that isn't that beautiful absolutely gorgeous I will do an outfit of the day on this to show you a simple Gray, you know gray I have lately I've been finding some gray things but you know it has to be kind of like unique or not some unique a little different I don't want anything that looks like you know a tent or anything like that so I found this gray sweater type blouse it buttons all the way in the front okay and it's more of a t-shirt like material it's not really a sweater this one goes go good with a pair of, of uh, jeans and a pair of pants or you know like uh, TGIF thank God it's Friday uh, dress down day but I can't really really dress down so it has to be like a semi dress down on Friday because my boss doesn't like jeans 
he doesn't like me because people look like they look like, like they're going to pick cotton or just came out the field or something so he wants you to you know us to be presentable as if we you know if we have to take a meeting we'll still look presentable put it that way so yeah very very nice and then um, just today I stopped in the thrift store and they had 50% off and so plaids are in I found this plaid shirt I love 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 it and it has a um, silver thread running through it button down the front and it looks really really nice and you know I do not own a lot of, of red I think I told you that before I don't but when I saw this and being that plaids are in I thought this would look very festive for you know going shopping and still look like I'm in the holiday spirit or whatever so that's why I got it. it's going to look good on the weekends or public market or going shopping with my family and stuff like that there okay and the next the last item that I purchased today is this beautiful beautiful sweater and suede embroidered or however you want to call it yarn I don't know what you want to call it but it is absolutely beautiful it is a tan suede in the front with it and it's buttoned down and then it is crocheted the trimming is crocheted um, in that material you know I remember back in the day when your grandmother had that linen on the dresser or whatever it's made out of that type of yarn remember that or or lace look and then in the back is a sweater it's a stretchable sweater and I thought that this was such a great steal now it was it's called Jenny and it's 62% uh, acrylic and 8% polyester and it was made in Taiwan and assembled in China so this thing has traveled okay <laughs> so or maybe Taiwan and China were in the same room speaking of you know like a two individuals who knows so anyways I thought this was so unique so I had to get it it was 50% off um, brand new and uh, it was regularly $10.99 and I got it for half price so I thought this was a steal it's absolutely gorgeous look at the detail on that collar and the trim and everything and the suede oh, I love it maybe it's, it must be suede like because it doesn't say anything about it being genuine suede but what it does say is, uh, yeah, made in Taiwan, made in Taiwan and assembled, or made in China, made in Taiwan and assembled in China. That's crazy, right? <laughs> so, Jenny, it says a crochet trim suede vest, and it's from BJ's, BJ's Wholesale. Too cute. Loving it. Some other things that I bought, um, I'm going to show, you know what, I'm not going to show you that now. That's more of a domestic thing. But, um, okay, you guys, that is my small thrift haul right there. And um, I can't wait to wear this. I'm so excited to wear this. This in that orange sweater. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm 11 minutes into my thrift haul. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. You know the drip. Bye-bye. Hey, Malcolm mm -hmm. Ward, can we go thrift shopping? What, 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 what?